guys, this is Natasha from BPT101. If you haven't seen our video about the first wound healing phase, the information phase yet, we highly recommend you to do so and would love to have you back for today's topic, the proliferation phase. This phase is the second wound healing phase and in general it takes three to four weeks. Why in general? It really depends what tissue is injured. If it's the skin, two weeks. If it's the ligament, it can be six weeks. If it's the tendon, it can be 12 weeks. If it's the bone, it can be up to three months. So what is happening in this phase? We have a replacement for destroyed tissue. We have a recreation of tissue continuity. And we have a stabilization of the wound. What are the goals of this phase? Boost the local blood circulation. Prevention of muscle atrophy. It's really important that you don't lose the strength of your muscles, that's why. And prevention of limitation of mobility in the closed joints means, for example, if you sprain an ankle, it's really important that you still move the toes, the knee, and the hip. If you have a problem in your wrist, for example, move your finger, elbow, shoulder. Let's go to therapy. What we do as physical therapists are active mobility techniques. What we help you with is functional training with low intensity. How to start? It is really important to start with coordination training. Why? The inhibition of coordination is one of the biggest changes after injuries. Reduced coordination affects the normal movement process. That's why. How can you train the coordination? It's really, really, really easy. You stand on the floor bare feet, you close your eyes, for a minute and you do that three times. If you feel secure, if you feel good, you can try to do it on one foot and then on the other foot. If you are super good with that, you can do it on one foot and close your eyes. This is how you can train your coordination or with whatever exercise you do, just try to do them with closed eyes and you can see it is really a lot harder to do them. It is also really important which tissue is damaged so that we can see how you can go on with the training. Let's say you have an injured muscle. It is really important there that you should train with repetitions and not with weight. So it's more important that you go on with repetitions and you increase the repetitions than you increase the, the weight. Go up to 15 repetitions if you can go up to 20, go to 20. If you can go up to 25, go to up to 25. If you can do these repetitions three times, then you're perfectly fine and you can increase the weight. If we're talking about ligaments that are injured, there is really important the range of motion. Means how good can you move? How good can you move without the pain? So you can do all the exercises as long as they're pain-free in this range of motion. But same as when you train with a muscle injured, you can go up to 25 repetitions, three series, and then you can pick up more weight. If you have back problems, if you had a back injury or you're going through back rehabilitation, it is really, really important that in this phase, you only do stabilizing exercises. It can be squats, it can be military presses, it can be lateral raises, front raises, but it all has to be stabilized. So this was it about the proliferation phase. If you have any questions, shoot us a message, send us an email to contact at PT101 for patients. Like this video, follow us, and we would love to hear from you 